love bugs welcome back to my channel i'm ashley for tuning in for the first time and today i've teamed up with my first wigs to give you this beautiful start to finish install now what's cool about this one is i have a new trick so you guys know sometimes when you do no baby hair and you get that white cast along the hairline it's like no matter how much the wig is melted how perfectly the powder or the lace tint that you use matches there's just this little white cast that just will not go away i've figured out what the trick is it's a little bit of a hairspray but it's a specific one i used it today and i think i pulled it off amazing so for this install the wig did fit glueless but we are going to melt her and we're going to do no baby hair this one did come as a beautiful kinky straight texture and she was nice and big and she gave va va boom i was prepared to do a half up half down with her i was really set on it and then i got a little bit excited with the flat iron i did do like a little strip test to show you guys what she would look like soaked out and i fell in love and ended up straightening out the entire wig and this is the result so you'll see how it looks straight out of the box and you can decide like all the styles you would do with her in that texture and then you can also see here how she looks straightened out and then you guys get another option so there's definitely versatility with this beautiful wig i'm going to be sharing all the tips and tricks on how to install her and to maintain her so if you're interested in seeing how we got this look and doing the whole install with us keep on watching okay girl let's jump right into it airpods in and i am on a mission to get this one slayed to the gods so for starters this is the inside construction of the cap they did include a elastic band in there for a little extra support this is going to help the wig to fit a lot more snug so let's go ahead and put her on and see what we're working with She's 13 by 6, 130% density, kinky, straight, and I did opt for a size 1 cap, which is the smallest. This is what she looks like from the back. Although she's only 130% density, she does give high volume, and that is a great thing. But I'm also going to show you how I silk press her so you can see the diversity in this one. She came pre-plucked, but of course you have options to customize your wig as you please. She did come as a side part and i'm just going to extend it a little bit more and utilize the entire six inches of parting here is what she looks like as a center part absolutely gorgeous wig so let's go ahead and begin the install process i went ahead and pulled the hair back we're going to use some scissors to go in and just do like zigzag motions to make the hairline as jagged as possible this is going to help to not have that blunt straight line we are going for no baby hair today and i highly recommend that if you're going for a no baby hair look that you make sure that the install is as clean and as flawless and just really take your time and get into it so this is what we look like without even bonding the wig down. As you guys can see, the wig does fit glueless. I personally believe that adding a little bit of an adhesive, something liquid and quick, can help the wig to look a lot more melted. But this one definitely fits glueless and that is a plus. You do not have to bond her down. And if you do feel like you need a little bit of support, you can also add a wig grip underneath. I'll use my favorite from, or I'll link my favorite from Amazon down below. As we talk, uh, I am going ahead and bonding the wig down. I'm using an even adhesive. I've been calling this one glueless, but the red one actually is active and it does last. So this is the one I've been wearing lately and it's been keeping my wigs attached through showers and getting it wet and sweating out. And I love that for me. So here is the secret product we're adding in and it's just a spritz. Now this is a different brand than the one the girls on TikTok have been using. But what I've been finding lately is no matter how careful I am, how clean I am with bonding my wig down, sometimes it will still leave a white cast. This spritz here is going to help to melt the lace and help it to not have that white cast. And it definitely worked. 
Moving forward, let's go ahead and do our dynamic duo. So I took the wax stick from bdeckbeauty.com. I paired it with a electric hot comb. And I love mine because this one from my brand is nice and blingy. And it's just so, so, so fun and cute. And as you guys can see, that hairline and that parting are slayed. So I'm going to go ahead and allow the lace to continue to dry and just really, really melt while we work on the ends. And I am using a melt belt for my line as well we're going to continue the dynamic duo into the parting i did extend the parting back to utilize that full six inches of parting space they provided and then i did curve it just a bit at the back now i'm going to go in and just really 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 press it out pay attention to how it looks when it was just freshly parted and how flat it's getting with this process i love 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 for any area that is laced to be super flat this is going to help the wig to just look a lot more professionally installed and not just look like a beauty supply store cheap wig that you installed for church now let's go ahead and see what this one can do i was confused on what uh style i wanted to do i kind of wanted to do a half up half down but because i did uh set this one as a side part i kind of wanted to challenge myself to see how it will look to wear it down so i did do a little test strip just to see if it would press some wigs you guys know with kinky straight texture uh you add heat and it will really just smooth it out but it won't change the texture I find that with this one, it definitely does manipulate the texture. It goes from like a blowout to a silk press, and I love that versatility. I would definitely keep it in its natural state and do like half up, half down, like cornrows along the front, like fun, different, versatile styles before a more tamed, like work safe or like holiday safe look. I highly recommend soaking it out just, you know, for your family photos and Christmas dinner and all of that and that's definitely what i did i definitely took my time and i did use the chase method paired with my flat iron this one happens to go up to i believe almost 500 degrees so it's definitely giving a really 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 hard press but it definitely does revert with a good wash and condition in the sink now here's progress this is absolutely beautiful i love the movement and for that reason i did not use any product on the ends i highly recommend a heat protectant but i just loved how naturally this one moved it had a nice sheen to it and i just felt like it didn't need any product at all here is a comparison of half done half not done and you guys can see how full it was now off camera i did the other side towards the back and we only have this little piece in the front to continue to do so you guys can see the hairline is popping and then i'm just going in and doing that same chase method with the rat tail comb to make sure that i soak it out the only difference in the front i do use the electric hot comb every time i part it just to make sure the roots are tamed so you don't have those nice full kinky roots with like silk press ends this is definitely going to be a game changer in making sure that your wigs lay flat especially Especially when it comes to kinky straight hair so I'm gonna do that again and just really really go in and use a hot comb to hot comb the hair out and then once I feel like I got it as flat as I can kind of comb it out and then we'll go in with the flat iron and just continue that chase method to really really silk it out now we are done and look how flat the hair is i did go ahead and just like bump the ends for a little bit more personality again this one is only 130 percent density so it definitely is easy maintenance it's not too dense um and i love that because it's just not too much hair especially since it's the holidays and you're around food and people and you just kind of want to keep it simple and low maintenance i'm just taking my foundation powder and buffing that into the hairline to make sure everything matches and we're perfect to go I did again bump the ends to just kind of make it have a little bit of personality off camera I did add a half up half down with two little bangs and this looked so flawless I got so many compliments on this look this was much later in time and I just loved it be sure to subscribe if you haven't already now let's go ahead and talk about it and see all the goodies they provided and just hear my thoughts on this wig okay love bucks so we are done with the look i've been jamming to party next door 
one of my favorite artists. I feel like I haven't listened to him in a couple months, so I had to run it back. But we are done with the look. Now, honestly, guys, I was not planning on silking out this hair. I wanted to keep it big and beautiful, but I went ahead and tested it out just to see if it would straighten, and I fell in love. So here we are. <laughs> we did a no baby hair, very beginner friendly install, and we went ahead and silk pressed her. So huge transformation from the beginning as far as like the volume they provide versus now and the silk press is amazing because it gives like kinky straight texture silk press opposed to silky straight so this more so mimics a blowout with my natural hair but better because you guys know my hair is super thin and so you can get the bounce in the body you want i started to go ahead and curl it but i'm like girl we weren't even supposed to silk it out we was just supposed to install and give you a little natural tease and now it's still giving natural but it's giving like silk press natural and i kind of love it so of course like i mentioned we did do a no, a no baby hair install today i was today years old when i learned something new the girls on tiktok are using the spritz to go ahead and like melt the lace you guys know that i do an amazing job with melting my lace lately i still feel like it's been kind of looking like perfectly melted in person but the picture like in the video like flashback or whatever you call it gives a little bit highlighted and that's kind of been throwing me off because i want the perfect melt and that is the only thing that's been messing me up so i've been on the hunt or telling myself to start searching for a new product maybe this product has run its course and then the tiktok girlies made me aware that the spritz is where it's at now this one did come from my first wig you guys already know they are some of my favorite people to work with they actually sent me a christmas gift so i want to show it to you really quickly they sent me the wig and i'm like the package when i received it was super 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 heavy i'm like what is this how beautiful is this and it just hangs so we found a place in my living area and i'm gonna um hang it up this week but i wanted to show you guys before i did it's this beautiful like three tier um how do you say it like a uh, picture frame set and it's connected and you can hang it anywhere around the house and they took a few pictures i'm sure they got these from my social media this one here is of the kids my husband and i from uh halloween last year we did like a space jam theme here is me and my hubby and then this one here is of the kids and this one came from like easter maybe three years ago at our old um house maybe two years ago super duper duper cute but i love it and they picked some great pictures i'm terrible with like stuff like this with like putting family photos around because i never know which ones to use that get a little bit indecisive but i'm so grateful so thank you my first weeks i love you so much they always give like really nice heartfelt sentimental gifts during the holidays so this right here i love so 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 much and then this was the actual wig package so also my package was a nice portable wig stand you guys see this all the time and i love these because you can literally put them in your luggage your to-go bag your overnight bag or whatever even at home if you don't like having like stuff on your counters and stuff you want to be able to like keep it compact and put it away you can always pull that out to like prop your wig on at night or when it air dries or whatever the case may be and then this is the beautiful box here it just says my first wig it's a nice sturdy box um and then the wig was in the dust bag and then they also gave this really beautiful scarf it's a really pretty pretty print so i think i'm going to be wearing this one of these days and some brown wig caps Oops. This looks like a mail belt, which I don't think I have one from them, so I'm excited to have this one. But it has their logo on it, of course, and it's just a mail belt to go around the hairline. And then there is this reusable zip pouch. It's like a really, really cute black and like clear print. You open it up, and inside you have two dolphin clips as well as 
a rat tail comb and it does have their website and logo and stuff on it we got one more design they also did give me this beautiful card for the holidays i love it it's a handwritten note so thank you nicole ashley and siri i'm so grateful for this i won't be reading it here but thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you as far as the specs go this one is kinky straight 16 inches i got a size one cap Cap construction is a 13 by 6 lace front wig, 130% density, and then the lace color is light brown. Now, I did not go in and tint the lace or add any concealer to it. Um, I may do it later down the road, but I think it looks pretty fine and natural. I really just focus on the hairline, and I think the combination looks amazing. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a direct link to this one in the description box. Here is one more look at the hairline. Of course, you can customize it to your liking, but I love the way it came straight out of the pack. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.